I think we're live. We're live. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Saturday night, and we're running mad late, and it's been crazy here. This is the Red Cup Review. I'm your host, Rob Banks. I'm here, as always, with my best bud, Baz. Baz, how's it going? How are you this week? Pretty good. Nice. What's up, Hi. guys? How's everybody doing? Welcome, Jerry M. Haven't seen you before, so welcome to the show. Real Batman uh, for Batman Day. It's always good to have a guy named Real Batman during Batman Day. And uh, our gentleman... It's always Batman Day, bro. Every day is Batman Day. It most certainly is. Today is Batman Day, so yay! Look, we got Robin too. Let's do yeah. my up on Robin. That's the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Robin, okay. the two pack. And how's uh? I guess you must open up with the two pack. They good? Yeah, hold on. Let me show you uh, Raphael. I put him with the uh, the helmet. Nice metal. Yeah. With the uh, what, what, when, when did he use that? He used that in the uh, the, the movie. Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. I, I saw the movie once, so I don't even really remember. It looks like my brain is upside down right now. Now because you know, with the spike on it though, that's cool. That's yeah, that's fucking metal, man. Uh, Your brain is what? So Jerry M says, "Sad, I couldn't get that." Metal. What was that? Sad, you couldn't get what? what? No, I was reading what, what, what Jerry said. Jerry over here says, said I couldn't get that Mezco Batman today, but eh, still a great day to celebrate Cape Crusader. Yeah, word. I uh, I had a chance to get the Mezco Batman. I decided against it. I am going to New York Comic Con. I'm probably going to pick it there. It is a little bit redundant. That's something that I could see myself getting, reviewing, and then selling. Um, I'm happy with my two Sovereign Knights that I have. I'm in a real bad mood tonight, guys. I had a really good dinner party. With some next door neighbors that I've never hung out with before, very good time. Kids had a great time. I rushed home to get this all set up, and in the process of rushing to get the show set up, and I mentioned this in the review that I did this week for the side for the Hot Toys Darth Maul. I broke the damn thing here. What is that, Baz? Why is that playing in the background? All right, good. This uh, I'm just worried about YouTube canceling us. Does they like to do that? They like to just cancel people. Uh, this just tipped over. This thing is on a very wobbly base, right? This thing, as you can see, look, I'm just holding it by the base and see how it's kind of just wobbling around. This isn't very strong and this isn't very heavy. So if you blow on this real hard, it knocks it over and you can see the, the, the peg that's in there. The actual wire comes out to here and the wire it hit. The wire bounced somewhere. There's a wire. There's a, a, an antenna somewhere in my basement over here. So there goes my Darth Maul. And I was actually thinking about selling him. The review on him this week. It's actually a pretty great figure. I'll show him off real quick. Because that was my pickup this week. I did the review, and then I was like, ah, you know what? I really don't have room or a need for Darth Maul in the collection, even though he's pretty damn cool. See, I got the hands off because I was in the process of boxing him up. Let's see if we can get a what's up on that head. Uh, right. So he's a pretty decent figure. He's got good posability and stuff. You guys go check out the whole review and all that other stuff I did on him. He could even like kneel pretty well. But um now instead of selling him for like I don't know, was he like a two hundred and sixty dollar figure? I'm gonna have to sell him for like two hundred bucks. And that's kinda like really just like fucking agitating the hell out of me. Uh he, James Belk, I'm always paranoid when I vacuum now because of that. Yeah, word. Uh, I gotta find this thing before I vacuum. It's about that big, so I, I should be able to pick it up on my uh my floor. See that? It's kind of marbled. So it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. I wanted to spend tonight watching the next two episodes because I'm a week behind on Titans. So after this show, I'm going to be scouring my floor for that so I can get over and watch Titans. Baz, what do you got on the agenda? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm pretty good. I wanted to see uh, Rambo today, but I I, I, didn't, I couldn't make it. I, got, I had shit to do. Yeah. I, 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 did, uh, I did go to the archery lanes. I shot some arrows for like an hour. Nice. That's yeah. pretty awesome. How's Felt your own holding up? Great. Like it, it was like nothing. Remember yeah. when we, we used to when we first started? Oh, you never shot. That's right. I forgot. Okay. Oh, I went with Frankie once. Me and Facebook oh, you did. Once I shot. Oh, you yeah. remember I like how you felt afterwards? Yeah, like you get this like if you're not or... used to, like let you get it in here and you get it up in here and shit up in like the, the chicken cutlet in the back. I'm constantly pulling back, you know. Yeah, I I don't get that at all anymore. Yeah. It's so weird how like your muscle memory is. 
change it after a while and just like it, it was like nothing so i shot for an hour and i just ran some errands and, and came home and then just you know popped on with you the fuck is that all right ah oh, nice that's pretty awesome i wanted to share this stream onto some of the pages i didn't get a chance to at all so it's just the people who kind of this is going to probably be a very small show tonight because i didn't share this on anything i had no time to put this on any of the facebook pages so uh whoever's here this is probably going to be the uh you know the suicide squad here for the night but the cooler version um anyways uh what else did i do this week i don't know i'm still kind of reeling from the whole you know family thing but working through it mm -hmm. uh I, I did not put a lot of effort into tonight's show because i'm kind of like in this state of i just wanted to be with my kids and not really worry too much about shit and then uh I was like, fuck it. We'll just do it like we did it last. We can kind of go off the cuff. Do you have any new pickups this week, Baz? Of course I did. This guy. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom you up. I want, I want you to get in there. There you go. Oh, yeah. nice. John Stewart. Yeah, I, I do like that head sculpt more, too. Yeah, I dig it. Uh, I, I already have, like, I'm, like his JLU head sculpt is kind of played out for me now. I kind of want to, like... You know, display him as like you know when he first joined. He first joined the Green Lantern Corps, and uh, I got him with the uh, the construct where it looks like he's making like an energy energy bubble. You know, oh, it's cool. starting to form around him. You know, I didn't put the uh, the batteries on in, in, inside the uh, the lantern though. I figured I'm I'm only going to use that like one once or twice, and then you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, speaking of which, I got to pull them out of my Cyclops' head because I never, ever use that shit. Does that, like, ruin, like, the, the what you call it, the insides? If you yeah, keep it'll corrode. After, like, it'll corrode, right? Once to a yeah. year, it'll corrode if you're not using them. Yeah, so it's it's not I can't stand those, those gimmicks, you know. Then I want, sometimes I got to go, like, and have it painted, like, aftermarket, have paint on to where it actually looks like it's always on. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever. It, it is what it is. Well, that's cool. He, that's a yeah, he's great, bro. I'm I'm excited for for Hal. So I mean, he's perfect. I mean, uh, and he's like, I I'd definitely give him like a nine out of ten. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's freaking awesome. That is awesome. The uh, that gives me hope for Hal. Then gives me yeah. a lot of good hope for Hal. Uh, I'm I'm excited to get him too. You know, it's another member of the Justice League. Uh, Darth Maul was my only pickup this week. Um, and I'm pick, again, up, pick up and break down, pick up and literally, literally fall and break. Kez Matrix writes that, um, you could, uh, you could probably get it on Monkey Do Depot, yeah, but I'm gonna sell them, so uh, I'm gonna be selling him and my Count Dooku, um, because I just, again, guys, I'm, I'm just trying to squeeze this shit out of my collection as much as possible because I got too much other stuff coming. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the this, the, the Hot Toy Superman that's like a year delayed. And I'm probably going to sell that because I'm going to be selling my my uh, my Batman too. My uh, on Batman Day, I'm selling him. Uh, I'm announcing I'm selling a Batman. The uh, I have a custom cape for him too. Uh, the uh, the Ben Affleck uh, Suicide Squad Batman. Just oh, you're I'm, selling him too? How much? That's worth like what four hundred right now? Nah, I'll probably sell mm -hmm. him for like two seventy five if I can get that much. I try to <laughs> get a quick turnaround on these things. I don't want to like sit on it. Um, yes, I sold the Batmobile, Jerry. I did sell the Batmobile this week. This week I sold the Batmobile. I sold Gimli from Lord of the Rings. I just sold, I'm in the process of selling Legolas now. I sold Sam and I sold Aragon. So now I just have Frodo left and I'm going to have Frodo to go along with the, the really deluxe Gandalf that's coming out. And that's going to be my Lord of the Rings. I got to squeeze and just keep it. Yeah, it's focused. And selling the Batmobile really was like gut wrenching. When the guy was like, "Hey, can we open it up and look at it?" I was like, "Oh, you son of a bitch!" And we looked at it, and I was like, "Man, just give this damn thing a good home, you know." <laughs> I'm like, I was not able to do. It. I couldn't even display the damn thing. And my downstairs ain't even really that small, guys. Look, this is like when my kids hang out. Unfortunately, I got to do this stupid show in front of where my kids hang out because the cool area of the basement, I have no place to put it because it's like a second living room. It's, uh, oh, there goes the microphone. I'm sure, that's gonna sound great afterwards. <laughs> Like, You're gonna break everything today, yeah? I'm breaking everything. Uh like over there. I don't know if you guys could see like the whole how the fuck is this working? There you go. Right. I know the light's in the way, so I'm trying to move over as much as possible. So I have two 
three detail cabinets on either side of the TV over there. And, you know, as you can see over on that side too. So that's like where all the cool shit is where I should be doing this. I know the Batman statue collector is fortunate enough to kind of do his reviews and his shit in front of his collection. But I like to keep my collection in front of my TV so I can constantly stare at it. Oh. Yo, so have you heard heard all the shit that uh, Rambo is getting by the, the critics? No. What's going on with Rambo? Oh, they're saying that it's like uh, xenophobic, it's racist, it's misogynist. Oh, God. Oh, they, they, they're, yeah, attaching all that shit to it. Um, because, yeah, because he's, fi he's fighting a Mexican drug, uh, uh, a drug cartel. Yeah, because those don't exist. Yeah, you know? exactly. And there's no such thing as being, like, just wanting to watch a Rambo movie and see this guy just kill a bunch of motherfuckers like that's that's top that's what it's for world. now we can't do that no more guys nope you're not allowed to enjoy rambo killing people anymore it's such a bunch of bullshit but how's it racist because like he's actually defending a, a woman he befriends like this family in, in the movie who happens to also be mexican so the girl that he's like looking after gets uh, like uh, kidnapped by the cartel so like it's like a whole revenge thing over her so it's like how is that racist they're just, they're, so, it's just, it's the outrage mob. It's like, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. We live, we live in such a clickbait society where it's like, uh, how can I get as many clicks as possible? I have to be outraged. I have to have mm. people feel outraged about things that they were never outraged at in the first place. I hate these people. I wish that, like, that mentality could just, like, go into an island and just go away forever. Well, like, I think right now at this point, like, it's just there to piss people off and to get clicks. So people yeah. click on these articles and they watch these things and then they friggin' they freak out and flip out over it. Yeah, well, that's I, what, I think the people that agree with it are very few and far far in, in between. Well, that's the, it's the the outrage culture is if we just did a whole show flipping out and and talking about how much we can't stand social justice warriors or talking about how much we can't stand uh, or how much we are social justice warriors. We'll have a whole section of the population agreeing with us and a sole section mm -hmm. of the population hating us. And because it's outrageous and you got to see these guys flip out, it'll be like a gimmick just to get clicks and views and shit. You know? Well, it's like, okay, so like, remember Taken with Liam Neeson? Yeah. Like, he, he fought uh, human traffickers and they were like Eastern European. But, you know, nobody gave a shit, right? Because that was before the outrage culture. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. But also, look, Bre Breaking Bad, isn't that racist and xenophobic? That was before outrage. Yeah. Isn't that like 2010? No. This shit didn't around the happen until like, the, like 2014 is when like all this kind of started coming to the light. Uh, anyways, on to bigger and better things. Uh, it's Batman Day, guys. Happy Batman Day. Happy birthday this past week to Adam West. Uh, I know we want to roll our eyes, but we're in it. This is what we do. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. It's just every day is Batman day for me. Yeah, I don't there you need go. a day. Uh, you know? I, I think it was T at TBS or TNN. One of those things was having like Batman on all day, like 24 hours. So after you guys watch this, you guys can go and watch Batman movies uh, on regular cable. I don't get it. Just enjoy the film. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Uh, what's going on, Danny? Danny Lee left me some really awesome awesome comments this week on uh, one of my reviews and it was really nice and it, it kind of brought me out of a, a you know negative thoughts so it brought me brought me some happiness in my life so thank you mr lee um jerry m just picked up the sideshow one six to celebrate so excellent i'm sure the new sideshow batman i've heard nothing but good things about them the the, the newest one so that's good i had the original one i sold that one yo what the what was on sale today did i miss something uh, Barnes and Noble had a buy two get one free DC uh, graphic novels. No, not no from Mesco. I saw it earlier. Oh, in the, uh, yeah, in the it was, uh, they had like a um, it was like a, a the, the the Sovereignite Batman that we have, but in all yeah. black in a two pack with a uh, black mask. With black mask, you didn't see this. This was all over. No, all we, all I we didn't see it. Advertised. Not, nah, dude. Oh, you're the worst. All right, we're gonna have to go to that first. Then we're There's gonna start right off on the collectible stuff. Hold on. There's a goddamn black mask. It's all right. It's all right. It's not. It's. I don't know. To me, it's like not really all that. They gotta re-release him, right? No, I don't know. I don't know because I think that he's just. I don't know if he's that popular of a character. We're gonna go to screen share, guys. We're gonna go right over to the uh, the Mezco. We're gonna start off with our Mezco stuff. Here Sold out in seven minutes. Seven minutes sellout. Yep. All right, you guys getting this? Yeah, you are. All right, here we go. Okay. Here's the Batman, the all black Batman. So the uh, the George Clooney Batman. 
Yeah, it's the Sovereign Knight, all black. Mm -hmm. You know, pretty much. And they then, freeze. I'm Batman. They freeze. I'm Batman. There's Black Mask. He's he all had, black. He's all in black with like very light pinstripes. Everyone wanted a white suit with the black pinstripes. The head sculpt on it is really nice. Although he is single jointed, he's on the Joker body. So that caused like an outrage. The mo outrage mob went nuts today with this. Like, why would you do that? Why would you do single jointed? Why are you still on that shit? This was a quick slap together. This is the Joker outfit. This is like a, a Joker. This is the Joker outfit with, with a black mask head. I do not like that all black outfit. Yeah, there you go. There's black mask. Yeah, now, he needs the white. He needs the white, and they're going to re-release it. Uh, you get like this light-up briefcase, which is kind of cool. Let's see if we can get it. Here you go. Black mask. The mask is cool. The mask looks good. Um, he's a little too plain. This is a little too, too bare bones for my liking. Um, here's the Batman, whatever he comes with, and just an all black. I mean, you know, whatever. That's just gimmick city to me. I, I guess some people like it. I don't like everything on Batman being black. I don't mind an all black Batman, but everything being totally blacked out, I don't know. Doesn't really do much for me. And I, I fucked up the pictures, so I got to go back. And here we go. And here's Black Mask. Black Mask comes with an Uzi kind of thing, the submachine gun, a pistol. With the bullet effect, he's got the briefcase opens up, and this actually glows. This is like battery operated, I think, or glow in the dark. So this chemical thing he comes with is like mm. glow and shit. And his hands are the same as the Joker's, basically. I could tell right now just by looking at it. It's the exact same hands as the Joker. This is the Joker figure with a black mask head. So there you go. That's your black mask figure. It's yeah, mm, yeah, not really. Not you got um. Yeah, the plutonium case glow it does glow really bright uh you know well, yeah, we're gonna get into this that that stuff uh, in a second uh ebay list is just selling it for over 300 now yeah i mean i'm gonna go to new york comic con if i can get my hands on it which i probably won't be able to i'm not gonna lose up any sleep on it i'm in a particular situation with my con going experience because uh, my wife's coming with me and we were supposed to leave really early in the morning to get somebody to watch the kids but we don't have anybody to watch the kids now so we have to get them on the bus for school and then leave. So I'm not going to get to New York Comic Con until later on. Normally, I'm the literally I'm like one of the first like I want to say 50 people on the floor of the con usually, and uh, I get in like you know because of uh, my sponsor I can get in like an hour and a half before the show even starts and I set everything up. But now this year it ain't going to happen because my kids got to get to school. I I got to get somebody to come and get them after school. So I'm not going to be able to get there until late. So there goes all the exclusives for me. But I should be able to get uh, interviews and all that other good shit. So you'll have plenty of fucking content on the channel. So there you go, Baz. We didn't really miss much. That sounds good. The black mask, you know. We've been cool. To what is, wait, so what's today's date? We got two more weeks. Two more weeks till the convention. Yeah, two more weeks till convention time. Exactly. We're going to go back now. I'm going to try and see if I can go back. So that's the only thing Mezco released and showed off. They're probably going to be showing off a bunch of other shit at the con. Uh, we'll get to con predictions and stuff next week, a week before the con actually goes on. Now we're going to do another screen share. And this is kind of eh to me too this week. And that's the uh, Sideshow releases, right? We on the Sideshow site? All right, there we go. It's $15 off if you buy a $500 figure. All right. Vampirella art print looks pretty nice. The back row art print I think looks really cool. Click on that real quick. It's pretty cool. Again, it's that anime style, but it's nice and bright. And I, you know I me, mean? I like bright colors and shit. But um, you know, it's it's all right. Ninety five unframed. Let's see this joke. Yeah. Black frame two sixty. I mean, it is on the cheaper side of their stuff. So that's who's the artist on that? Lao. Uh, art print L by L A U. Uh, Derek it's Chu. Oh, okay. Yeah, wrong. I don't yeah. know. So I'm not familiar with his work. Derek I... Chu on my balls. They have um, the Vampirella uh, Underworld variant. We looked at this a couple of weeks ago. This is like a black and white variant. Well, hold on. I want a screen share. I want, I want to show you something. This is the black okay. mask that I want. Uh, I got to un remove from stream. I had to stream. This is the black mask that everybody wants. Okay. That's the black mask that nobody wears. Is he wearing a flowered shirt? 
I believe so. Oh my god. I heard that he's in love with uh, Zaz. Oh, whatever, man. Oh, check out Zaz. Is it still sharing? That's not Zaz. That's Zaz. That's Zaz, and he has pizzazz. What the mm -hmm. fuck is this movie becoming? What is this shit? It's becoming a part of your wildest dreams. This is terrible. This look, hold and on, I don't on. like to judge things. Hold hold see them. This looks fucking it's, awful. That's Rose Tico with wings. You didn't know you wanted her with wings. She needs to tie her shoelaces. That is uh, Cassandra Kane. It looks like the girl from the neighborhood. <laughs> like, do they really want to save that much money on costumes? I don't. I don't know who's the art director on this. Okay, so uh, check out uh, Huntress. Well, she actually look, looks the most like a character, but she looks like she's like Trinity from the Matrix. <laughs> I don't know what I'm watching right now. Why are you depressing me more with this shit? And then you got uh, what's her, what's her name? Uh, yeah, exactly. What's her name? Because she's unrecognizable as well. You have uh, Black Canary. Oh, you come on! You know it's Black Canary. Look, she's wearing bell bottoms. <laughs> All singers wear bell bottoms. That's uh, you know you know that whose sister that is Jesse Smollett or whatever that dude who faked the oh. uh, the MAGA uh, attack in Chicago. Don't you mean juicy, juicy, uh, yeah. smule? <laughs> Ju juicy smule? That's oh the sister, yeah. God. So yeah, it doesn't look too good. Doesn't look too good for Birds of Prey. Yeah, kind of sad. Uh, whatever, man. This looks worse than Suicide. At least Suicide Squad uh, in the trailer. I was like, oh, this is gonna be a fun movie. It looks good. This just looks like shit. Yeah. Like this really doesn't look good at all. Like, and I, I hate being that guy to judge things, but this is there's a difference between seeing Heath Ledger as Joker and being like, ah, I don't know, I don't know if I'm feeling the scars on the face. Oh, a motorcycle outfit for Batman, and I'm unsure. And then it's like the Godfather of like superhero movies. This is not mm. going to be the Godfather of superhero movies. I could fucking tell you that right now. <laughs> oh my god. This movie has to be like Empire Strikes Back level to like be a three out of five. <laughs> like, to, <laughs> to overcome the visuals, right? Yeah, like this is like like my eyes are hurting me with all this neon. This looks like Joel Schumacher did it, like like a like a Joel Schumacher twenty nineteen production. Oh, whatever. All right, enough. Yeah. Right. Fucking shit. yeah, enough. Anyway, I'm taking this shit down. Fuck your screen share. Uh. At least my screen shares are interesting. Yeah, I know. Mine are boring and filled with stupid ass overpriced fucking sideshow <laughs> bullshit. Uh, yeah, what what crap can you try to convince? Let me guess. Sideshow's going to see this and be like, "No, we're never going to endorse this guy." Look, I, I buy all my stuff from you. I support the hell out of your company. Uh, I do more than enough uh, uh, of the you know the job, so to quote unquote, wink wink, uh, for you guys. But uh, some of the stuff is just ridiculous. All right. Uh, Batman Black and White by Todd McFarlane. This actually looks kind of cool. It looks cool. I was but actually I looking know. at this, like going, hmm. It's just, oh, everything is capes with him. It's just everything is just a giant cape. It looks like he's standing in like a yard and it's just draped, like like sheets are on clotheslines blowing around. <laughs> <from life. laughs> you know, like this, it's like some some on. goth chicks like uh, laundry blowing yeah, around man. On, on a line. I mean, but you know, look, the face sculpt is really cool. I like the way he does the bat emblem. I'm not going to lie. I, I do dig Todd McFarlane stuff. Uh, but it's just, just like a, a, a statue of bat drapery. I don't know. I like to see Batman it, swimming around doing his fucking this shit that yeah, way. Yeah, it's just like it's like Batman's head just peeking out of his cape. That's Giant like, capes everywhere. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just, it's just it's uh, a cape. See, Todd McFarlane knows how to draw feet and hands, uh, unlike Rob Liefeld, so you don't really have to hide the entire statue <laughs> with things. If this was a Rob Liefeld Batman, I'd understand. Uh, all right. Because I we looked at that real quick because someone had mentioned that. Um, oh, okay. Somebody's mentioning uh, American Horror Story. What, what do you did you watch uh, the the latest episode? Right? No. Again, I'm two I'm two episodes backed up on Titans. I'm uh, so I'm gonna watch that first. But the missus does want to catch up uh, on American Horror Story because we've actually jumped off of that show. I only like the first two seasons. Yeah, and I watched half 
of the third season and then stopped with the show completely. And I was like, this, it's just not for me. Yeah, it got ridiculous. The writing got a little freaking crazy. It, it, I mean, the gore factor is cool, but then it just became all about like gay sex and shit all the fucking time. Yeah, and, you know, and I just I didn't like the writing. It just got all over the place. But um, but I I do want to see the nineteen eighty four stuff because it's see I like look guys we got to embrace this whole like return to like nineteen eighties. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw let's go out on a limb here and I'm gonna say everybody in the chat room right now, including the people that are doing this damn show between the ages of I don't know 35 and 55. So this is like our era kind of, you know. I was a little young for the 80s, I was more of a 90s kid, but because I hung out with guys like Bazar and my older brother, I kind of grew up in the 80s by default. So we gotta kind of like embrace this, this like a return to like our roots kind of. Uh Rob just a fan said the last show he saw was Ash vs. the Evil Dead. I hope that wasn't when it was airing because that was a couple of years ago. But it was an excellent damn show. Excellent show. Judge Jack, good to see you. Thanks for joining us on this episode. And I, I, I showed that you subscribed to me, so I threw you a subscribe back. So in your face, I hope you enjoy this subscribe. <laughs> thanks for thanks for joining us, buddy. Uh, all right, let's keep What it. we got on this friggin' page? What's going well, on? Well, I want to look at this. Again, this isn't something I would order, but I think it's really cool looking. Uh, Shard has a new um, a new statue coming out, a fourth scale. And she's only 400 I can't believe I'm saying she's only $450 since the last few premium formats have been like in the $700 range. But uh, because it's... What, aside, what's Shard? Some sort of like... Uh... Oh, Court, Court Crusader or something? Yeah, she's like a crew. She lived during the Crusades. She got killed on the battlefield, and then she's the only human to step foot in the underworld during the Court of the Dead. Or she didn't get killed in the battlefield. She kind of like walked. She's still alive, and she was able to like go to the underworld while still being alive and shit. But she's oh, she's like, Court of the Dead. She's Court of the Dead. Yeah, she's oh. like their Joan of Arc character. So she's Ooh, pretty interesting. Cool. Yeah, I like I like the style. I love this this look, man. I just like look. You can't call us mis uh, not massages. You can't call us uh, the He Man Woman Haters Club because I, I love looking at badass women that are like you know dressed like Joan of Arc and shit. She looks like dope as hell, you know. Uh, she's part you know obviously that's a cloth cape, and you know she got the sword and the battle axe, and the swap out is the shield with the um with the the arrows uh, in the shield. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's pretty. Uh, oh, look at that blood splatter in the axe. Yeah, it's cool, man. Where is it? Right there, yeah, good stuff. That Court of the Dead shit is cool, man. I was uh, I was actually showing Grandpa Frank uh, stuff like this recently. We were looking at like um, he was like, oh, when I was growing up, this is my grandfather. He's eighty eight years old, and uh, he he indulges me in, in this type of stuff. And he was like, we have coffee every day after I run up my route uh, on sanitation. And we were, he was like, oh, you you know, when I was a kid and stuff, we, I was into like more like the mythical stuff. And then I was showing him like. Uh, statues mm -hmm. of apollo and shit like like this and he was like yeah this is what i'm talking about i, I kind of dig this stuff so that was, that was pretty awesome but uh uh just got our one six harley fat boy for hot toys t2 figure nice that's freaking awesome that's uh, that must have fucking cost you a pretty penny did you get that kit bash conan was thinking about getting one yes i got the kit no i didn't get the kit well yeah i got the kit bash conan but it sold out the one i got there's another one you can get the one I got was from Causic Plastic. That one sold out. The one that you can get now is also, uh, I think it's still available, and you should probably get it. It looks pretty good. People are like raving about it. Uh, no, I didn't get to review that yet. I had to review this character this week because this came from one of the sponsors. Of the Dude, show. everybody keeps asking for your goddamn Conan. Uh, I know, I know, review. I know. I, uh, like, I got to do the shit that, like, look, the fucking sponsor. You know, I got to do the shit that the sponsors are sending me first, and then I got to get to the stuff that I'm just buying on the side. Uh, yeah. Shard of the Shard of the Dead sounds like an underwear issue. Damn you, knickknack! Plastic Planet is actually in here with us now, and I just want to say that tonight's show marks the anniversary of Knickknack making his debut on the Red Cup Review one year ago today. So, Knickknack. Mm. I fucking miss you, bro brother. But I'm glad you're here with us tonight anyway in spirit, nonetheless. Even if you weren't here, you'd be here this way here in spirit. Um, this reminds me of this movie I, I watch from time to time called Kingdom of, oh, Kingdom of Heaven with uh, uh, Orlando Bloom. And actually, Liam Neeson is in it. He plays like a friggin' uh, another mentor type character. 
and it takes place during the Crusades, and they fight uh, Saladin. Oh, have you ever, you ever heard of it? Yeah, no, I've heard of it. I didn't know that they fought uh, Saladin, though. I, I'm, now I'm really interested in seeing it. Yeah, it's really good, man. It's uh, it's uh, a Ridley Scott movie. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool. Okay. It didn't do well in the theaters. I don't know if critics liked it or not, but I, I dig it, man. I watch, I watch it, uh, you know, a few times, you know, a few times a century. So um, check it out. Hey guys, what uh, what body would you use on a Kit Bash Rambo? Not the one I would use on Conan. The Conan one was the M thirty four or thirty five, the really really buff one. So I would go one step under that one. Or maybe two steps, because you could use the the M thirty four and thirty five. You can use on Conan if you want his slimmer look, or if you want him more bulky. Um, the, you use the slimmer one, I think, for the um, for the second movie. I think he was more ripped in Conan the Destroyer. I'm not sure, because I think in the first one he was more broad and kind of like like puffier looking. Well, so I went with the M thirty five. But uh, for the, I, so I, I think you would have to go two levels down. So maybe the M32 or 33. Whatever is like a really ripped one that doesn't have like the big fat, like, you know, pumping iron Arnold chest. Uh, M32, 33, 34, 35. I would stick with M32 or 33. Don't do the 34 or 35. They're too big. The 35 is big. That's what I got for my Conan. He's thick. It's like just getting the pants on him was tough. Because his friggin' thighs were like ham hocks. So stay away from mm. that one at the very least. I've seen other people. I think the guy that did it, D Dario Barbaria, is the guy that did that Conan. The guy that designed it and actually sculpted and painted the head. He used the 34 because his Conan and his collection is representing Conan the Destroyer. Uh, he has him with just the loincloth on. So uh, I would go I would go under that a, a little bit, uh, like a size under that. Uh, anyone read new Spidey comics? Also, here Ghost Rider Spirits of Vengeance is getting redone. Not sure if it's out yet. We are, I don't know what Baz has been doing lately. I am exclusively DC, and um, I am pretty much exclusively DC and Vertigo esque type titles that I read. So it's either like yeah. stuff or DC. I don't even fuck with Marvel at all anymore unless I'm going back and, and reading old trades. Uh, also, skin tone. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. That one's a not the really dark one, not the really light one. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, Rob, did you uh, finish the Trinity War? Yeah, I did, back? and I wasn't that crazy about it. Did nothing. You're nuts. I did, did. It really did. I kind of I, I slogged through it, and then when I got to the end, I was like, okay. Hmm. Earth three, man, that was awesome. I love the setup. Yeah, I was like, okay, it's the, it's the Earth three guys. That that looks cool, you know. Whatever. I was like, all right, you know. I, and then I that leads into uh, Forever Evil. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of like I got. It, I just have an. I have like this over looming issue with the new Fifty Two stuff where I just can't. I have like this mental barrier I need to get over. It's just a per personal thing. Mm. Uh, Kiz Matrix K. I'm lone. I'm a lone Marvel Comics fan. That's that's a shame too because you're uh, you're missing out on a lot of really really good stuff. If you don't like DC characters, let me get off this. I wanted to get into this fucking Jawa thing, but we'll, we'll go back to that. And I know Baz could personally attest totally with this. If you're not a DC guy, at the very least, thank you, Rob, with the bless you. At the very least, you should tr get into Vertigo. At the very least. Uh, a guy was writing recently today about like, oh, I got all the Batman day. I bought all these Batman trades, and it was like the Dark Knight Returns, Batman Damned, uh, the 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 Man Who Laughs, and he was like, hey, and it was a hush. What else should I get into? And I saw all these replies about like the Long Halloween and and, and a lot of DC stuff, and then I was like, look, you read the DC stuff, read your Batman stuff, that's cool. However, if you read Vertigo stuff, especially these titles, Lucifer. Why the Last Man and Alan Moore Swamp Thing? It's gonna make every superhero thing you read kind of feel like I don't know. It's still good, but not as good. Let's put it that way, right, Baz? It's just like a different level of reading. Oh yeah. No, there you go. Uh, Thanks so much. You're the one that got me into this shit. <laughs> You're the one that pushed this on me. 
I'm lo I'm look I'm looking at what what I'm reading right now because you asked me what I'm reading. Uh, I'm reading I'm actually reading a GI Joe uh, series. Mm. It actually uh, it, it it actually like takes place at the beginning of like Cobra and everything. And, like you you're learning about the uh, GI Joe in the early days. It's like almost like an origin story. Is this a newer thing or something that's like uh, older? Yeah, it's a it's a newer it's a newer comic. I also I I also I, I think that Larry Hama is still continuing the old continuity too. Oh, that's awesome, Larry. He's such a cool dude. Joke, so. He's an old dude now, man. You met him? Yeah, well, uh, we we met him at uh, Terrificon, and he drew Grace and uh, uh, Snake Eyes. He said, "Hey, little man, well, who's your favorite GI Joe character?" Because Grace was just getting into GI Joe. And I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. we love the cartoon, and he's just getting into the characters. And Grayson was like, oh, I like this guy and that guy. And he's like, well, who's your favorite? He was like, well, everyone's favorite, Snake Eyes. So he drew him a, a Snake Eyes holding an Uzi. I got it over there somewhere. I'm going to put it up in the in the basement. Losing love on Star Wars, but still love the original. Look, dude, these new movies were uh, – I loved every one of them. So you can't – I'm the wrong guy to talk to. You and Baz can have your powwow on that shit. Um, let's see. I like The Last Man. Yeah, Why the Last Man is my absolute favorite comic book series of all time. It's it. There's nothing I think even comes close to it as far as like just well-written, likable characters. It's real. It hits home. It's the type of thing that you read and you learn something about yourself and your views of the world. It gives you perspective on things. Now, I ebb and flow between three different kinds of reading. I read uh, superhero trades because I love people just – Sometimes it's sometimes it's just about the guy in the tights punching the villain, and it's fun. And that's for comics like Hush, comics like uh, X Men: The Messiah Complex, uh, comics like um, the entire Ultimate Run of the Marvel Universe. Just fun beat 'em up superhero stories. Then I read comics like um, the Vertigo stuff, uh, and not just Vertigo, but like Image stuff, like Sleeper, anything that. Uh, uh, who are the two guys that work together? Sean Phillips and uh, and and uh, check this out. Uh, Baker. Yeah, word. Okay, so this is what this is the book I'm reading right now. This is uh, GI Joe, and it's from uh, IDW, and it's written by Chuck Dixon, who's you know famous for a lot of the uh, Batman stuff in the '90s. So he's a really good writer. Recommended. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, it's good. So cute. Nice. Like uh, Destro doesn't isn't even wearing his mask in it. Oh and, like, shit! He meets Bar he meets Baroness for the first time and shit. It's like, yeah. So it's a lot of firsts. Nine. But it, this this came out in two thousand and nine. Yeah, it's really good. I'm digging that. So nice. What that's else? awesome. To Judge Jack, where are you guys from? I'm from New York. I'm from New York. Originally, the we're both originally from the Bronx, but we uh, we grew up in the Bronx, and then uh, Baz moved down south. And I moved upstate to uh, like Court the Cortland Manor, uh, Yorktown Heights area, uh, right around like Peekskill, like right around there. Um, yeah. So, anyways, the uh, the the um, so then I'll, I'll read like the Vertigo stuff, stuff like Sleeper, anything at Brew Baker writes that's indie related, and that's like high level reading for the snobs, but it's excellent stuff. I highly recommend anything at Brew Baker writes. I, I can't recommend it enough, and anything Brian Cave One writes is above and beyond it's like another level stuff and then i read like autobiographies and shit like for like adult reading i'll read like uh i'm in the process but i put it on a year-long hold i'm on a hiatus from it i'm, I'm currently reading the uh beastie boys autobiography and the jordan peter jordan peterson's 12 rules for life that book so I'm, like juggling those two books along with all these different grades. i heard that jordan peterson checked himself into rehab yeah because his wife got diagnosed with cancer so, so wait, so he's trying to kick what weed? No, I don't know. I don't know if it's weed. He's trying to. Well, I didn't even know he smoked weed. But uh, yeah, I don't I know. Uh, it might could be pills. It could be alcohol related. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so the J.J. Abrams, uh, his son, his uh, his first is issue of Spider Man came out this week. And you heard about that. You no. don't know about that. They Marvel comic, Marvel Comics was doing this countdown, hyping it up, uh, and people thought it was uh, like uh, they were going to do Spider Man uh, four, uh, you know, uh, Sam Raimi's script in comic book form, and it turns out uh, that it was just J.J. Uh, Abrams' son 
was going to write a new Spider-Man uh, series. Yeah, I had heard about so, that. He was like, how yeah. to write it. They did some sort of countdown. It started off with four, I think. Right, yeah. So so people were like, oh, what does this mean? Oh, does that mean they're going to do Sam Raimi, Spider-Man 4? Uh, is it a team up with Spider-Man and the Fantastic Four? And it ended up being uh, uh, nepotism. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, J.J. You know, Abrams is kid. Fine. Get his look. You know, I, if I had J.J. Abrams' ability and 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 money and all that, I would probably do the same thing for my. That's what Red Cup was. I had Grayson reviewing, you know, uh, 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 play mobile toys and, and Legos and shit on our earlier videos. Yeah, yeah so. fuck him too. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm kidding. But seriously, <laughs> uh, no, I think people got pissed off because of the uh, promotion. Yeah, uh, the, yeah, I can see that. It's that, that's a little, it little bait and switch there. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. So they hyped people up, and then it's like, what, really? This? Yeah, well, I, that's what's so. going to wind up being the next Star Wars film. I have a feeling where everybody's like, oh, my God, I can't wait for Shimmy Skywalker to really be Rey. And then it's just like, yeah, she always was in her body, and none of this matters, and there's just a lightsaber battle, and it's over. No, I think it's pretty much she's Palpatine's uh, granddaughter. Well, they, well that. And, uh, and now she, what the fuck? My, my freaking Alexa just got triggered when I said Palpatine. That's because it's really dark side, and you have a spy box in your house. Like it's 1984, you idiot. <laughs> Amazon. Amazon. Track me. Record everything I say and send it to the government. <laughs> oh, that was that was a wet fart. My Amazon farts. Uh, right. So so Ray has a new power. What healing? Is she has healing now. According according to the rumors, yeah. Okay, there's just a rumor so that she can heal. heal? There is yeah. force healing. I did play the D and D version of Star Wars, and there is a such thing called force mm -hmm. healing. So, yeah, whatever. Well, we and, have and supposedly uh, Ray and uh, Kylo Ren are a part of this this thing called the uh, a Jedi Dyad or something. Dyad. It's, it's spelled D Y A D, and it's like this this force connection that two people have that they where, where they link together and they become uh, uber powerful more powerful than they could ever be by themselves okay so, which i kind of like because it'll it'll make sense of of uh, force download the forced stupid da force download power that pisses me off that uh, takes me out of i don't know why that bothers actually. you so much it makes perfect sense it unlocks something in her mind, and she gets powerful. It's fucking space magic. We need science now because those stupid midichlorians. It's ridiculous. Why? Why have anything try to make any kind of sense then, dude? They fucking get right. You don't have to because the answer has always been it's the force. Just go with it. It's the force. Just go with it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm gonna apply that logic to other things next time. Only when it comes when, to Star when Wars. It comes out. Only when it comes to Star Wars. Only with Star Wars. Anything, anything goes when it comes to Star Wars. Anyway, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Space Mary Poppins. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right. So the I, got Jawa, it. I got it now. At least you admit to it. <laughs> the Jawa. You even. Uh, you even said. Hold on. Hold on. You even said last time. You said something about uh, uh, the Last Jedi. You said that. The ending would have made a great cap to the whole series, right? Yes. So you fucking admitted that that fucking movie failed in being a second movie bridging itself into a third. It failed at what it was supposed to do. Okay, all right. So you fucking uh, in terms, admitted it. In terms of it being, I was Go thinking, fuck yourself. I was. <laughs> I was thinking about you, Weasley. Fuck. <laughs> I was thinking about <laughs> dark side. I was thinking about uh, the whole um, like, okay, so Ryan Johnson was hired to make the second movie in a bigger trilogy. And his job was to bridge two movies. And I was like, well, if you think about that, he didn't succeed. He made an ending. He was like, I'm going to make my Star Wars movie the way I want to see it. Right. And I don't give a fuck. Like, and I'm going to end it as if this is the end of Star Wars. And I was happy with the movie because I still enjoyed the movie, but as far as a movie trying to do what its typical job is to take it, bridge it from one movie to another, no, he it, that it did not serve that purpose. Um okay, can we go? Okay, but why do you, why are you down with force download? Force download means you don't have to train ever. Oh my god. All you have to do oh is just god. download it from it's, the previous there's person. There's a fucking there's a Sith. There's a Sith. In Star Wars canon, 
that drains the mm -hmm. power from that is so powerful that they drain their energy from planets like Galactus. Okay. And they suck the and energy I'm sure out he of did, the planet. I'm sure at least he did one day of training more than Ray. <laughs> I'm sure he had some sort of experience, right? Dude, what people don't relate to this bullshit. Anything you do, you have to work at. That's why nobody likes it. It's dumb. It's lazy. It's stupid. So the Jawa Dude. and EG6 power <laughs> jet set is it comes in at $267, which I think is a goddamn ripoff. So I hope all Dude. you that went and bought this set go, fuck you, Rob Banks, unsubscribe. Okay? There you go. Take that, take that $267 and put it in the bank. Invest it in something for your future, you goddamn freaking losers. <laughs> anyway, what's next? Uh, what's next? It looks good. It looks good. Everything Hot Toys does looks great. Looks wonderful. It actually looks oh, yeah, good. whatever. Light up things, but two hundred and sixty-seven dollars for two figures that are the size of Yoda a, that aren't that don't even have a box head. with a little box with legs. Be careful, man! I think Nick Knack pre-ordered this, bro. He's gonna come and get you. And you guys are Dude, like, no. you guys hate the Force Awakens together. Uh, so I mean, the uh, the Last Jedi together. So he's gonna be like, "What are you doing?" I'm sure you can make these things for like less than like friggin' fifty dollars. <laughs> uh, get like a friggin' cloak. Get a cloak, a little brown cloak. I don't. I this is what dejects me a little bit from the community. I'm the type of dude that has to that does this and reviews figures, and then I also see people go, "Oh my god, instant pre order! It's the greatest thing, must have." And I sit there like, "Yeah, I like Star Wars just as much as the next guy." But what are we talking about here? I guess if you got it, you got it. Not for me. Let's just keep it moving. But if I just kept Let's it moving, it. I would have nothing to say on the show, ever. I would just be constantly keeping it moving. Like, hey, Rob, what would you think of this? Uh, let's keep it moving for every answer. Uh, what other? What, what, what more garbage can we look at? I want it. Haven't pulled the trigger. I get the criticism, though. Yeah, the Jawa looks cool, but it's lower on my get, get list. Uh, yeah, again, same, same, same bullshit. Whatever. Uh, to me, that was a it's a big nothing burger. I did kind of like ooh, this. Ooh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, ooh! All right, you got to go back to Supergirl because she's showing some legs. Maybe we can look up her skirt. Look at that. Sculpt is nice. Paints nice. It's one eighth scale. I don't even know what the hell that is. Damn, she's thick. I think these companies are trying to do too many scales. Yeah, her legs are thick. She got big. She has big calves. Yeah. God damn. I like it. It shows that she's powerful. Yeah. Oh, it's just whatever. Super squats. Right. I like oh, it. Oh, yeah. Smiley, colorful. I'm down. I think that the one eight scale, though, is a little ridiculous. There are too many companies trying to capitalize on too many different scales. And I think it's just ridiculous. Like, I would never buy that just because it's one eighth scale. Um, I like these. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not, uh, it doesn't go with like the rest of the stuff you have. You constantly have different scales, you know, it's going to look weird in your collection. Right. Yeah, exactly. It has yeah. to match up with the rest of your stuff. Uh, the only person I've seen pull that off is Nick Knack because he has a fucking museum of, of stuff. It's just all crazy yeah. shit going on. So that's the only person I think that gets away with that. Metal Batarang for $140 with stand that can mount to the wall. And these stands stack on top of one another to get all the different batarangs. I think that's kind of cool. I don't know if it's one hundred and forty dollars cool, but it is metal. So if you threw it at somebody, you'd probably really hurt them. Just buy a gun, people. Fuck the batarang. Look, that's cool. Yo, that buys. That's cool, dude. That's cool. You got the that's fucking. Right. You got the the Burton, the begins. All right. The video. All right. Game. All right. I like the I like the Burton, the folding one, the one that folds. Folding right. one. That's pretty cool, man. No. Yeah. You know, though, and you can see that those those points are shop. As a matter of fact, did they did that one go up for pre order? Did that one go up for pre order? No, they just these two did so far. It doesn't look like the other ones are up for pre order yet. Uh, no. Oh, here's something funny. You know how we make fun of shit that goes up? Take a look at this, Baz. You want to buy a uh, a four thousand dollar Wonder Woman poster? <laughs> well, it is Wonder Woman. Hold on a second. At least it's not Beyonce. Hold on. Look, you lose that. 
Yeah, it's also four thousand dollars. He's gone. Uh, it's Noble Young with the emojis. Well, who's Noble Young? Oh, it's Noble Young. Yes, with the emojis. I get. It. I thought you meant. I didn't see Noble Young was in here. What's up, Noble? Uh, I'd rather get Yoda. Yeah, get Yoda. Yo. Okay. Yeah. What's up? So here, four thousand dollars for Wonder Woman. You want to get this? What what is what is worth four thousand dollars? This picture of Wonder Woman. It's not an original. Four thousand dollars. It's just a, it's glassed diamond dust. What is what? Or did, this better be real diamonds. Must have for DC fans. Okay, it is a fine art print, faithfully reproduced from the original acrylic on wood painting. Okay, so it's just a reproduction. Each print is embellished, utilizing a unique process that involves silk screen and glass diamond dust, accenting key elements of the image with a glittering effect that makes Wonder Woman come to life with new detail. Hand signed by the artist and embossed with a seal of authenticity. And for four thousand dollars, I'm going to put a brand new deck in my backyard, or I'm going to buy two eight K TV <laughs> sets <laughs> like that are sixty five inches. Uh, I don't know, guys. That's like glitter to me. Uh, I'm sorry. I missed the sour grapes tonight, but not for for four grand. They can they could do something else. And I, I like this. I like the way it looks. Michelle Pfeiffer is Catwoman. Yeah, when are they gonna get around to making the hot tuna? Talk to me then. Case of. <laughs> What? Oh shit! This froze. Look at that! It froze because it said you don't want your four thousand dollar piece. We're freezing on you. All right. Anyways, coming soon pieces. We never look at the coming soon pieces. You still with me? Why, is, uh, Baz? Are you there? I'll oh, fuck this guy. Yeah, I know. I, I hear your lips moving, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what, else what else we got? Preview of the see this, Superman. See this? My computer is now moving insanely, insanely. Fast. See this? This is the pistol that 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 killed Abraham Lincoln, right here. It's a artifact of evil. It's awesome. You found that in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> so the new Superman okay. six figure. Uh, is looks like it's got a sim a suit very similar to the brand new Batman. So if you like the new Batman, you're probably gonna like this the way the clothes fit at least. And the head sculpt is a thousand times better than the last one. Way better. Yeah. Wait, but the last one was. Oh boy, the last one was bad. Um, but this looks cool. I don't know how much it's gonna be. Probably two hundred and twenty dollars if I had a bet, because that's like the the standard price for all this these things nowadays. Uh, Deadpool bus coming. Anything you want to see? I like this one. I like this. Yeah. One. I like the. I like the lick. I like that too. A kiss can be easy to get there. Oh, this is more like glass diamond dust bullshit. So this is going to be another four thousand dollar piece. So let's just not look at that because we're not Donald Trump two point oh point five. Um, meanwhile, at the sweat uh, sweet shop. Let's see. Meanwhile, at the sweat shop. XL Deluxe oh, Diamond Dust and more of this Diamond Dust shit, bro. So I guess they're going to reproduce all these prints in Diamond Dust and try and get $4,000 per. Hey, uh, guys, look at my picture up on the wall. It has real Diamond Dust. Unless it had real diamonds in it and you were able to afford that shit. It's ridiculous. I don't know. I, I, I did want to get, I, I really did like this, though. I like the original one and I didn't pull the trigger on it. I, I think it maybe I'm kind of regretting it because I really like this. My wife and I have this whole Batman Catwoman thing going on. And uh we like the old, old stuff and, and that's cool. You know, them sharing the uh you know the malted and shit. But uh not for four grand. The original one was like two hundred bucks, I think. So that was kind of cool, but whatever. And that's it. That's all I got as far as like shares of the week and shit. <laughs> Who was the last time you seen the the movie? Not this television series, the movie itself. So what movie? Well like cat. Batman 66, who like freaking Catwoman totally plays like this Russian character and fucking has, has uh, Batman fall in love with her. 
What did you do with Miss Kika? That's the best part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Bruce Wayne locked in the room from the villains, and he's like, "What did you do?" And he starts doing like his get nuts. <laughs> that was awesome. It is so fucking awesome. Uh, so stupid and awesome, but yeah. We asked on the official Red Cup review, the uh, Rebellion page that everybody should be subscribed to on, not subscribed to. Join the goddamn page on Facebook, everybody, so we can talk. I put a thing up this week where I was like, hey, what's everybody's favorite pre-order they have coming in, right? So everybody that was that answered it put up a picture of what their favorite current pre-order is. So out of all your pre-orders, what are you looking forward to the most? What is your favorite pre-order? Baz said Hal Jordan. Is it still? I said Richard Pryor from The Toy. Remember that movie, The Toy, with Richard Pryor? How can I forget that movie? It was the, awesome. <laughs> the movie was awesome, man. And he's the toy, like the, the rich kid buys Richard Pryor. Yeah, it's great. I love that movie. Oh, so As awesome. I think great Jackie to get that movie. Uh, speaking of old, well, I wanted to, all right, so for the people in the chat room, put up your fucking pre-order that you're most looking forward to. Mine's the uh, Superpowers uh, maquette from um, Tweeterhead, the Batman Superpowers one that I should have had a week ago. I'm still waiting on my guy to get it to me. Baz, I think he, yours was Mezco Hal Jordan? Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of cool shit and old stuff like the toy, the last night I had off, we were scrolling through... Um, uh, Netflix for shit to watch, or was it? Uh, Might have been Amazon Prime, and we winded up watching uh, Stripes. His Laura was like, "Oh, I never seen Stripes," and I was like, "You never seen Stripes?" So we watched Stripes, and it was awesome. And then she was like, "John Candy's in this." I was like, "Yeah, everyone's in it." John Larroquette, and, and she really enjoyed it. Like we got we got a couple of really good laughs out of it and shit. So oh, it's so great. Speaking Is of, it- good, good. No, no, that's the uh, which one? Isn't Bill Murray a uh, cab driver in the beginning of the movie? Yep. Doesn't he k- kick out the lady like like when he's driving or so? She he just stops she on the bridge off. and he like yeah, so he kicks her out. Off, his keys off. She goes, "Is he gonna jump?" <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Uh, yeah, that was good. Speaking of Bill Murray, today's Bill Murray's birthday. I Wait, today? Today? Stuff. Yeah, today, today is Bill Murray's birthday. It was on the Ghostbusters fan page oh, on shit. Facebook. So happy birthday, Bill. I know you're a cranky old bastard, but we love you anyway. Is he going to be in the next one? Uh, he's the only one not signed up yet. <laughs> so why does he keep why does he keep doing this? And yet he showed up in the friggin' the the friggin' bitch uh, Ghostbusters. Yeah, man. I, the, I don't the lesbians. Know. I don't know. It's it, it's kind of insane. Um Okay, let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. I, I, I missed out on a bunch of stuff going on here in the chat room. Damn it. I thought no one was commenting. Uh, let's see. I kind of wish they did a 1 6 Julie Newmar Catwoman. And you're damn right. I'd be right behind you waving the flag, but brother. Um, my, yeah, fav- be- my favorite is your Flash Gordon and Two Face. Awesome. I- I'm so happy you, you, you ordered Flash Gordon. I didn't pull the trigger on him. I got my signed Jets helmet that he signed, um, Sam Jones, and then he wrote number 19 on the Jet helmet, so that was cool. I'm going to stay with that. And, yes, I have Two Face on order as well. That's cool. Wish that we would do a 1-6 uh, Last Starfighter. Speaking of the Last Starfighter, I just – I have one disc left, and I'm doing the audio book for Ready Player One. And if you guys seen the movie and you liked it, you'll like the book way better. The book was way better than the movie. The movie was good. The book was way better. I just finished. I'm on the verge of finishing the audio book. I, I've read it like four times, but I figured. I, I watched some of the movie. I didn't give a shit. It was all right. Yeah. Now the book is the book is so fucking good. Anybody yeah. order listen to the Jazz Inc. One Six Star Wars dioramas? They are extremely expensive and they are extremely awesome. Uh, they are the best dioramas out of anybody doing dioramas. Jazz Inc. does the best dioramas, bar none, than anybody. Um, they recently released today a video of their finished product for the Land Speeder that they did. The Land Speeder comes with uh, lights and sounds. It makes sounds from the movie. It has music that plays when you pr- and it's off of a remote control. So you get a remote control when you press the button and the music plays and you hear all the quotes from the scene in the movie where they were zipping around on the land speeder. And then it comes with a diorama backdrop for it that's like like this big. It's huge. It's like 30 or 40 inches long. 
and it's like the whole desert in the background and the uh the land speeder sits on like fake um sand it looks like it's hovering on fake sand it's, it's excellent but no i didn't i talked to him once i don't like i don't like sand it's yeah. coarse and hard and it gets yeah. everywhere no but young it gets in, war machine it gets in your balls it does it does does yeah, I want to get that Falcon cockpit. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. That shit is awesome. Um, been on a Stallone kick. Yeah, pr probably preparing. Yeah, for that movie that's awesome. Got to run, bros. Got to feed the fam. Mad love, love this guy. He's my favorite YouTuber. Go subscribe to Knickknacks Plastic Planet if you're new here. You should go sub to him too. Um, got the Blu-ray Rambo one through four. I let my son, I let my son is eight years old watch. The first Rambo movie, uh, when he was seven, and he loved it, and uh, he now wants to see the new Rambo movie, and I won't let him see it. I think it's still a little. I think these the last two Rambo movies are a little too intense for him just yet. I don't know if I should take him to see it, guys. What do you think? Um, I don't know. I think he might be a little too young for that. Eight years old, watching guys get stabbed in the face with machetes and shit. I don't know. I don't know if that's the way to go. Personally, they all have child services knocking on my door. But um, whatever. I'd love to go see it with them, but it is what it is. Uh, good news. I'm actually going to get to see Batman, uh, Joker first day because the kids are in school and I'm off. So I get to that's go see good. Joker with the wife. And both this way we could do a freaking review the week of yes. that weekend. You know? awesome. That would be some cool ass shit. Baz, what else you got going on this week, man? I am totally out of the goddamn loop. Yeah, um, nothing. It's been a quiet week, man. Not it's much. Kinda, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I'll look real fast online mm -hmm. to see if there's anything else that came up. Uh, what was your favorite Bill Murray movie? Shit. Shit was a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blank. Anything he's in. Well, mine's obviously Ghostbusters, but I mean, I know you, you put me I don't want to say Ghostbusters. That everyone standard. says Ghostbusters. Well, Ghostbusters was just I don't one know. of my favorite movies. Ground Groundhog Day? Nah, probably one of the early ones, man. Um, I know you like uh, uh, Life Aquatic was good. That movie was funny. Oh my god, that was great. But that's too that's too modern. You gotta go. You gotta go eighties, huh? Yeah, I gotta go eighties, man. That's his prime, no? Yeah, yeah. I probably stripes then, you know. The Dark Knight trilogy is on sale today on Amazon on 4K Blu-ray. Just so everybody knows, in case anybody wants to get 4Ks. Go ahead. Hey, let me look, look at. That's a good question, man. Yo, the light. Did you see the Life Aquatic? I watched it with you. You did? Yeah. Oh my god! You, yo, you know who stole that that fucking movie though? William Dafoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Was he good? All right, Caddyshack is fucking great, but there's so many good. I don't know if that's a Bill Murray movie just because he was in it, though. What about Bob, yo. What about Bob was really funny. That's what I'm saying, yo. What about Bob? I gotta go. What about Bob? Just because he's fucking in that job and he's neurotic. I haven't seen that in so long. You know? I gotta watch that again. It's been like two decades since I've seen that movie. Uh, yeah, I'm on like IGN right now, looking for like new news and shit. I don't see shit, guys. So yo. Yo, fucking meatballs. I haven't seen meatballs in a long time, but that's freaking excellent, too. That's prime Bill Murray at his raunchiest and sleaziest. Fucking Scrooged. Scrooged, Scrooged was great. Was good, dude. Scrooge was such a good Christmas movie. All right, how about this? Rambo author calls Last Blood a mess that he's embarrassed to be associated with. Critics have been yeah. pretty tough on the newest Rambo movie, but not as tough as the author, John Rambo creator. David Moriel re reported that it is, the movie is a mess, and he's embarrassed to be connected to it. Um, I'm embarrassed yeah. to, to hear about that article. Depiction of Latino characters and emphasis on violence over substance. He specifically takes Shut a sequel to task for misrepresenting the main character. He followed up by tweeting, the film made the character a cipher and assumed that audiences knew Rambo's background. But anyone under 40 will wonder what's going on. Rambo could have been called John Smith. Moron. There's the internet. You could find out who John Rambo is with a Wikipedia search. Or you just watch the first movie and then watch this one. Like, yeah, okay. which is as easy as one, two, three. 
type in first blood and the, the, you'll get a whole bunch of different options on how to watch the fucking movie. Rambo four had overlong action scenes, but the director's cut has excellent dialogue and understands the character wars. Clears a quote wars. Old men start them and young men fight them. Nobody wins. That is so fucking... I hate that cliche. Old men start them and young men fight them. You want old men fighting wars? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna lose. Last Blood, a film with more gore than a horror film and some legit badass action that all too unfortunately plays like the dark fantasies of an angry teen. Good! That's what I want to hear. That makes me want to see it. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Now I want to see it. Like, you know... That's what I'm interested. I'm telling you, the back the backlash to to these assholes writing this shit is making me like want to run out and see it, which it's working. So maybe it's good that you have these jerks, you know, writing these uh, these opinionated fucking reviews. All right, here we go. Quote of the night. Now I'm seeing this in the theater. Weird Al the UHF did the best Rambo. Yo, I, I can't lie. My but, wife uh, is a great that, impersonation of that. <laughs> that is, I can't lie. That 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 is a great. Yeah, the way he does with his his his, uh, his lips, but didn't uh, what's his name do it too? Uh, what you call it? Um, Hot Shots Part Two. Didn't yes. he do that too? Yes. Yeah, he did the Rambo. That was that was funny uh, too. He uh, the uh, the best part of that scene is when the guy's just firing on him with the machine gun, yeah. walking up to him slow, and he's standing like eight inches <laughs> from him with the machine gun <laughs> on him, and he pulls out the the, the grenade and shoots. Him. <laughs> Dude, because oh, that's God. like that's not far from the truth. That's why it's so funny. Yeah, that was that was hilarious, man. Back in the eighties, like the main character couldn't miss and never got hit. Yeah, right. Okay. Fucking hilarious, man. Oh, unbelievable. All right, I'm out of steam, Baz. I gotta uh, find this stupid ass um, again. I love buying yeah, yeah. For hundreds of dollars and having to sell them for like, all right, guys, real quick. Here's uh, you guys are all collectors in here. Okay. The antenna is right here. I got, I'm going to ask this live on air, right? The antenna is right here. Right. But it's supposed to be longer. It's on my floor somewhere. It broke off right now. I'm not going to glue it back on and then sell it. Cause that would be shady. Right. However, I'm still going to sell my Darth Maul. The rest of the figure is in pretty good shape. Right. Hold on. Why don't you glue it back on and just say that you had to glue it back on? I could do that too, or I could just include it and say, hey, look, it's broke, and you can glue it back on and leave it on them because I'm not going to put a dab of glue on it and then fuck it up. However, mm -hmm. um, I, 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 you know, obviously you guys know how much the Darth Maul costs. It's a $260 figure, right? How much do I have to – can I theoretically sell this figure for, honestly, um, being that this wire up here broke? Now, I know uh, – a Kev's Matrix said, try to get a, another wire, like another wire aftermarket, which I might get. I might spend a couple extra bucks just to get that to have a complete figure to sell to somebody. But if I just wanted to unload it, what do you guys think? Is it, it, it what is the under over 200 bucks? Like, does it lose that much value? No. You know, let no me know. Way. Right, how much is it hard to get now? Like, how much no, is it going available. for right now? I think it's, I think it's still oh, it's available. Still available? Yeah, okay, so you have to take that. that into account. You have to take it into account that it's opened already. You opened it, right? So it's kind of used, slightly used, right? Well, they, I mean, then, these things, you can kind of open them, though. I mean, can't you kind of open these and, like, inspect them and shit? Like, don't people fucking do that all the time? I but, like, if, you could, if, if I could buy one brand new without the breakage, you know, right now for, like, it's 260 No, it's $282. Okay. It's 208. That's for the, yeah, that's the exclusive. I got the regular edition. I didn't get the exclusive with the little Darth Maul uh, glow in the dark thing. So it's 280 so like two plus shipping. So it's 300 bucks roughly. A little less than three, about uh, just under $300. So 240. 240. 240 yeah. without shipping. I think that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. James Belk, I'll bite it too. Knock 15% off retail or 10%. Sell it as a sell it as a Vader only amount two fifty. Yeah, all right. I guess that makes sense. I hate to do that though. Two fifty shipped. Two fifty shipped. All right. Two fifty shipped sounds good. Thirty yeah. off that little snappage. I'm gonna include it. I'm gonna. It's gonna be in the box. So whoever gets it can actually theoretically glue it back on 
and you'll be getting that. I want to offer a good discount, a very healthy discount to the person. Um, you know, obviously, be, and, and they're obviously going to get the discount because the figures, you know, not it, it, the, the extra piece on this is, is busted. Judge, yeah. Judge Jack says 250, Edwin Diaz says 240, but is that shipped? Uh, yeah, these have, to, these have to be shipped prices. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so, you know, that's the incentive for somebody, you know, $50 off, bang. You know, it's really not that bad, yeah. as a matter of fact. Like, it really doesn't even look that all that bad. Oh, wait a second. Did it snap off? No, it didn't snap off. It just Oh, fell it just off. comes off? It just oh, fell shit. off. So now, and it, maybe it's not broke. No, the whole piece just came out. This this thing didn't break at all. I thought it broke off. So it's not there broke. You go. So it's not broke. So it's back up to 300 now. Yeah. <laughs> if you could find it. Now you have to find it. Yeah, now I have to actually find the Can fucking Can you piece. find it? Can he do it, Dodgers? It's on the floor somewhere. Full price, baby. <laughs> Full price. It's back, but you have to find it. I'll probably so, go for like two sixty or something. You know, two two seven. So to find out if he finds the piece, you have to join the Facebook group. Yes, join this fucking page already. The only person that gets a pass is my good buddy Rob, just a fan, because he doesn't mess with Facebook. Go to Facebook. Official. Half the people that watch this stupid goddamn show are the people that watch every week anyway. So that's fine. I mean, it's nice that we have a nice little tight knit community here, guys. But we gotta fucking expand our horizons a little bit, man. Just a little bit. This is a this is a very grouchy show this week. It Jesus was. Christ. I think it was a little bit more natural. What do you guys think? You guys think we come off too grouchy? You guys think we come off natural? I hear nothing but good praises, but it's. I feel like I'm in an echo chamber of just people telling me greatness, great, everything's great, guy, and I love it. No, I you no know, no seriously, I think we do need to like just loosen up the show a little bit just to, to be you know. So we can ad lib and just like it makes me feel more comfortable if, if there's less a little less structure. But that's what we've been doing the last two weeks. We kind yeah. of pulled out of our asses. Sometimes we structure it too much. Um, yeah, this week we had zero structure. It was pretty good. Yeah, I, I guess it works. I out. don't know. Um, yeah. Can't think about shit too much because yeah, no, know I know. Anything. I get like and that's all. You know, I, I didn't do any advertising at all for this shit. You know, I feel as though a big yeah. problem with the show is that people are just not even like hitting the button to like even check it out mm -hmm. in the first place. So, um, too many uptight streams, says Mr. Lee. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, too many. Up oh, other people, other people are uptight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, we have to, um, we like instead, I'm not going to ask you guys to go out into the ether and be like, yeah, red cup is great. Don't, don't do that. You guys don't have to do that. Although if someone asks, Hey, does anyone have any recommendations? By all means jump on that shit. Uh, okay. Yes. The module case question. Sorry about that. I missed that before. Um, judge Jack also says only the second so show and I don't see it as grouchy. Good news. That means we're coming off as authentic. Um, we're really not like this in real life. We're really uptight awesome. assholes. Uh, Rob, no Maju cases yet. No. Well, hold on, real quick. I, oh, Maju case. Sorry. No, he asked. That's why I put it up on the thing. Um, no yeah, Maju yeah. cases yet, and they're That's not going to be for a very long time. I put my first payment on it, so they're half paid for. Uh, so I'm getting them. This is 100% legit. I'm getting 50 inch long, 19 and a half inch tall, and 17 inch deep Maju cases. With six rotated, not the LED strips, six of those rotating spotlights. So three in the front and three in the back to light up the case. <laughs> or three in the top and three on the floor. <coughs> front. I'm getting four of them. And it's going to take four to five months for them to be produced. Don't ask me why it takes so damn long. Everyone tells me these, the only problem with Maju case is that they take forever to be produced. But everyone that has got them has said that it is insane level next level like what you you get what you pay for now i was gonna have i was gonna keep my detoffs and i was gonna have somebody come over my house house and build two small bookcases out of solid thick wood that would run along the bottom that i could put my my trade paperbacks in and my my novels and shit running along the bottom so i could raise up my my detoffs 16 inches off the ground because they're, when you when you buy the detoffs, even though they're cheap and they're they're perfect for collectors, the bot you you lose the bottom shelf because you got to do this shit 
every time you want to look at it. Oh, look, I have cool collectibles on the floor in the dark. So you got to raise them up at least 16 to 20 inches. So um, instead of raising them up because a guy was going to charge me like $300 a bookcase and another guy was like uh, 500 bucks for two, he gave me a deal on them. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sell all this shit and get like legit wall mountable. And they mount to your wall too, which is dope. Wall mountable diesel ass module cases. So that's, that's what I'm doing. Yes, the Batmobile hurts. It hurts my heart. Uh, it did cost. Well, uh, it cost me. Uh, it was nine hundred and thirty dollars for the four module cases. I sold the Batmobile for seven hundred and fifty bucks, and that only leaves me with. Plus, I sold all those other Lord of the Rings figures this week, so it's already paid off. But uh, I winded up. Um, I could come up with two hundred dollars in five months. I mean, shit. We buy these figures like it's going out of fucking style. So, so for the price technically of one. I'm good to go. Now. Okay. I wanted to show you something. Uh, uh, screen chair. Yes. I'm with you. Okay. All right. So this is a team up, a crossover with Conan and Moon Knight that's coming out in December. Hmm. So you have Conan and Moon Knight and uh, Solomon Kane uh, and also Dark, Dark Agnes. Who th those three are... Uh, Robert E. Howard characters. Right. So yeah, no, I know about that. Yeah, it's called the Serpent War. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I know, like, you know, you don't have much uh, background with uh, Moon Knight. You haven't read much Moon Knight. This may be your uh, chance to hop on and check it out before, like, you know, Disney starts uh, the Moon Knight series so you can get acquainted mm -hmm. with the character. And I know you love Conan, so. That's cool, yeah. I wonder if because it's a serpent war, I wonder if they're gonna make Tulsa Doom the uh, villain. I'm talking about uh, be because this this got a lot of like mainstream press. Uh, Conan serpent mm -hmm. war uh, miniseries that they were saying that the, that uh, Marvel uh, may be prepping to do uh, a Conan movie. Hmm. Because they have they have rights to use the character right now. So. Wow. Oh, well, hey, listen, man. You know. Uh, they knocked it out of the park the first one years ago, but at the same time, the last one they had the right actor but the wrong writer. It is what it is. I but yeah, I'll look, look at that. I think that's the look. I don't read Marvel, uh, but not because I don't like Marvel, because I really, you know, this this is interesting. So I will I will definitely look into this. That is pretty damn. Cool. He's also in Savage Avengers right now, Conan. Yeah, I hear that's a good a good story too. I'm I'm hearing good things about that. Yeah, so be on the lookout oh. for that. I'll, I'll be reading that one. That's cool. Uh, I dig it. I dig it. Especially if it has anything to do with also doing well. I'm like a sucker for evil wizard uh, snakes. Uh, that reminds yeah. me, Rob, any chance for a room tour collection? Not sure if I asked that before. No, you haven't. And I have been holding off. I've been doing this channel for like two and a half years, guys. I've been holding off for as long as I can with a room collection tour because I want my room to be the way I want my room to be. You know, don't do a half ass room tour you know, video. Cause I know those room tour videos are like big deals in the community and shit. And I don't want to do like a, Oh look, this is the red cup review guy and his fucking collection looks like half-assed, you know? So that's kind of why I shy away from that a little bit. Um, Ooh, Robert, just a fan. Uh, I always love predator versus Tarzan. You know what? I'm going to read that tonight, man. I, didn't I even love know that Tarzan. Thing. That's pretty awesome. I didn't even know. Yeah. I that. Holy Tarzan shit. is cool as fuck. They had a toy line of, well, for uh, Tarzan on on Mars, I didn't know Tarzan was was on Mars. Wow, that's cool. Oh, did he did he run into uh, John Carter? I was just gonna say that that's totally sounds like John Carter. Danny Lee said yeah. the module cases they all ship the U.S. orders at one time, so they probably just yeah sell them all. Every, yeah, they all come on a pallet and then to the U.S. and then they just kind of ship them off. Probably that makes the most sense. How about a badge room tour? Yeah, we could do that. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Just no, like, we yeah, okay. do that. yeah, just not right now. I'm just freaking I'm tired and lazy. Uh, next week. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it next week. I'll start off the show. We usually start off the show with, like, you know, what we got for the week. I'll just I'll start it off with my uh, my shelves. Um, cool. Did, did you guys see the, the last Tarzan movie that they made? That, it was pretty damn good. It was uh, no, the guy from uh, True Blood played Tarzan. True. You didn't see it? No. Yeah, that no, was good, man. Check it out. Nice. 
All right, I, I'll definitely do that then. Gentlemen, I'm starting to fade. I got to get upstairs and get my ass a coffee and put my kids to bed. And I hear footsteps. As you can see, the light is on right there. So I'm going to boogie. Guys, we got to close this thing down. Go like the goddamn Facebook page and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're catching this on a replay, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Will Rob find the peace? Find out on Facebook. There you go. Next, next week. week. Tune in next week to find out if Rob finds his peace and actually doesn't completely lose his fucking mind. You guys know. Next week, we show. start off. We start off with a, a room tour of of my trash. Yep. The stuff I that I collect. Same back time, same so, back channel. Noble Young, thank you so damn much for joining us again, and Judge Jack, the judge, for joining us. Yeah, I'm going. To, I'm going to go on the Tarzan kick. See you guys later. Thanks for the for the uh, inspiration, Robert. Just a fan. Take, Take care, care guys. See you, video. you guys got to like this fucking video. We'll see you next week. Stop buying shit. Save your money. Bye.